Heather, congratulations you. uh, on your appointment to the FA board. A significant moment, uh, not least for the FA, but, but, but also for yourself personally. Yes, indeed. And um, I'm absolutely delighted to have been unanimously appointed by both the board and the council. It's a big step for a governing body to make these sorts of changes, appointing both myself and Roger as two independent uh, non-executives. Uh, and those changes are always difficult to navigate. So... So I think it's a really significant moment in uh, the history of the FA. Um, and obviously we know we're on a journey looking at some broader governance issues, but uh, you know, I think this is a really important step. You are the first female on the FA board as well, which, which for the FA makes it, <laughs> makes it increasingly significant, I suppose. Uh, yes, no, I'm, uh, I, I, I still have to pinch myself, really, that um, I, I, I'm here and, uh, you know, to be appointed to a body which has, you know, fantastic traditions um, and clearly, you know, is involved in the game that we all know and love with thousands of volunteers um, playing week in, week, week in and week out. Uh, to be part of that family, and it is about the football family, I, you know, is, is, is hugely important. And I hope I'll bring a slightly different lens because obviously as a, as a woman, I bring different experiences to that board. You have a long history in football though, let's not forget. Yes, no, I have had, I've actually had a pretty broad career. I've worked across a number of sectors, both government, the financial services world, media, and, uh, and then recently uh, spending time um, in, in, a, in, a, in a League One club, uh, dealing with some of the issues that uh, football clubs you know, have, to, have to contend with. Um, so I think all of those experiences are really important to draw upon in terms of my work going forward here. You've been appointed an independent non-executive yes. director. What, what does independence mean to you? I think what independence means to me, and I, and I sit on a, 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 a couple of other boards where you know, it is hugely important around corporate governance that you have independent non-execs. And the reason you have that is that I think what we try and do with colleagues and with the executives is to bring a slightly different perspective. You can you know, have that sort of strategic overview um, and really are testing out our ideas being, giving a level of scrutiny and discussion. Um, and you're not there to represent any one interest. What you're trying always to ensure is that you're making decisions which are to the benefit of the whole um, and not individual parts. And that's really what we need to try and do at the, at the board going forward. And I suppose at the heart of it, that's the importance of the association in that it represents the whole game from, from the very grassroots through to the England senior team. Absolutely. It's got a, a huge constituency, as you say, from, 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 from both the national game, the professional game, clearly the England team. And it's about ensuring that we get all of those elements working to the best of their potential and for, you know, to secure the future of the game that we all know and love. Very early in, in your <laughs> tenure, but do you have broad ambitions for what you would like to see the, the FA achieve over time whilst, whilst you're able to input to the board? I think it's really important when you first start that um, uh, you listen uh, to those people who have huge knowledge and experience uh, before you start to form a view really about uh, my own personal ambitions. Clearly, uh, I want to ensure that we support the changes that have started in terms of governance. Uh, we know there is a very live conversation underway with government about what else we need to do. Uh, and I think first, my first sort of, uh, I think, ambitions, if there are, is to try and see where we can get to on that particular journey over this next year.